Welcome back. Hi, my name is Faisal Khan, Cisco Collaboration Instructor at Voice Bootcamp. In this video, I'm going to talk, discuss about the Cisco licensing. Now, Cisco licensing itself can be a five days bootcamp. It is one of the most complicated products that Cisco has been struggling to uh, make it easier for uh, companies to uh, manage. Now, Cisco went from various stage of licensing mechanism from you know, um, it used to be, uh, I guess, unit based licensing, then went to workspace licensing, Cisco Prime collaboration. Now they are more focused on what we call is Cisco Smart Licensing. Now, Cisco Collaboration System released 12.0 or later incorporates Cisco Smart Licensing, uh, Smart Cisco Smart Software Licensing, and Cisco Smart Software Manager for management of an organization's license requirement. Now, Cisco SSM, which provides a centralized method for applying, tracking, managing licenses for Cisco Unified Communication Managers, Cisco Unity Connection, uh, Emergency Responder, as well as Management Edition of the CUCM. Now, Cisco SSM helps you automate many of the steps that are necessary to issue license, uh, necessary to license users on the application server. Now, the Cisco so Smart Software Licensing include a hosted in, uh, Cisco SSM web portal that you will access by going to, uh, for example, oops, I'm on the wrong slide, uh, going to a uh, website, Cisco website, and then you will have to create your own account, Smart uh, Licensing account, or Cisco Smart account, they call it, uh, and then uh, uh, register your license through that web portal. Now, where organization's collaboration application will and uh, application entitlement and license are tracked from that particular web portal. Customer will purchase the license, which are automatically applied to Cisco, your account, smart account, and synchronized with on-premise application via the Cisco SSM. Now, Cisco SSM, which registers an on-premise application, collaboration application instance, with the licensing service and synchronize organization's license uh, against appliance or application. Now, uh, the following products is use Cisco's uh, licensing manager. You got the Cisco communication manager, you got Unity Connections, Emergency Responder. Now, communication manager will also use the uh, offer licensing for IM and Presence as well as Cisco uh, Management Edition, uh, Unified Communication Manager Management Edition. Now, uh, an application is allowed 90 days of license non-compliance. That means you get to use the software for 90 days without having to uh, acquire license, uh, during which the system will function normally, and administrator can make changes if there is an insufficient license or if the system has lost communication with the license uh, so software license manager, smart license manager. So these are uh, some of the capability of Cisco <coughs> license, uh, smart licenses. Now, smart licenses are available in the following category. You got Cisco user connect licensing, provide licensing on a per user basis for Cisco Unified Communication Manager application, including application server software, user licensing, soft client, uh, etc. Depending on the type of devices and number of devices that you require, Cisco UCL or User Connect Licensing is available at Essential, Basic, Enhanced, and Enhanced Plus version. So this particular version comes with up to four different uh, different flavor of uh, uh, of licensing that you can purchase depending on the type of endpoint or devices they want to use. Then you have something called Cisco Unified Workspace License or Cisco UL provides most popular Cisco collaboration application and services in a cost-effective, simple package. That means that you, uh, there are, uh, with one single uh, license, you can pretty much use all the most commonly used uh, product and features. There are two Cisco uh, cool license versions available depending on your needs. You got the professional edition <coughs> right there. Uh, you got the professional editions uh, which will provide uh, and the standard edition. The professional edition now includes comprehensive, unlimited participant uh, video conferencing with personal multi-party video at no additional cost. Now, both of these license versions include soft client, uh, such as Java, uh, Java or IP communicator, application server software, 
licensing uh, on per user basis and allow for a more comprehensive unified communication experience use, uh, than the user connect licensing. So the cool license is much more uh, uh, better and more easier to manage and uh, you can provide kind of like a, a, a more services to the user by applying one license set. <laughs> now Cisco has something called Collaboration Flex license which is for Collaboration Edge uh, enable customers to purchase uh, via subscription base and enabling them to manage budgets easily and add new services as they need it. With the Flex license you get to use for the services that you need to use and you don't pay for the services that you don't need to use. Cloud and on-premise deployment are included and new services and entitlement can be needed uh, as business needs expand. Cisco Flex license moves away from the capex based pricing structure which was before prior to uh, introduction of Cisco smart licensing. Now Flex license is broken down into following uh, different category. You got the named user, you got active user and you got enterprise ag agreement. Named user is easily add new cloud or on-premise services to existing on-premise deployment or while keeping costs low by purchasing service only for those users who are ready to use them. That means if you have only four employee and you only need to buy four uh, license, then just buy named user, four named user. <coughs> you don't want to buy like 50 user license and only four people are working. Then you got active user or pay for what you use plan. Everyone is entitled to host a meeting, but you only pay for the number of people who are actually who do the hosting. That means you can purchase, uh, you realize you have 50 employee and you say, you know what, everybody will is eligible to start a meeting, all 50 people. But you only get charged for the time they actually use the platform or you host the meeting. User can host any type of meeting on premise or on cloud or hybrid using the WebEx or Cisco meeting server. Then you have something called enterprise agreement, which offers company wide entitlement for all knowledge worker for meeting, messaging, calling. You can choose between on premise or cloud entitlement, entitlement for each knowledge uh, worker. And the price include 20% growth. So therefore, therefore, whatever the license that you acquire, you always has 20% extra for growth or oriented uh, feature. Now, licensing is available for meeting, calling, contact center, and Cisco WebEx team collaboration. <coughs> meeting, this includes the licensing for Cisco, Cisco WebEx meeting and Cisco meeting server. So you got the meeting license that can cover both. Uh, one is cloud and one is on-premise. Calling license includes Cisco WebEx calling, Cisco Broad Cloud calling, Cisco Hosted Collaboration Solution HCS, or Cisco Unified Communication Manager with a Jabber. So if you get a license for calling, that means you get to use it for WebEx calling, you get to use a Broad Cloud, as well as HC Hosted Collaboration, or it's a simply Enterprise Communication Manager. Contact Center includes uh, Customer Journeys Platform, hosted cloud collaboration solution as a contact center as well as Cisco contact center individual enterprise server. Team, you get a uh, license for uh, Cisco WebEx team. <clears throat> so that's pretty much all there is for licensing. I hope you got a rough idea. Again, licensing is a very complex product. It is something that I always avoid it because if I'm not involved in selling, I don't really don't get involved in licensing. But if it is something that you need you, based on your job descriptions, uh, obviously you need to get a little bit more details uh, in, in terms of knowledge wise. Uh, Cisco has various webinars and some uh, videos available on their website that covers licensing in depth. So that's pretty much all we have for this particular video and I will see you in the next.